Now 74 years old, Harbour Defence motor launch vessel Medusa was originally built with a five-year lifespan, but is a rare vessel that's been afloat all her life. She did everything other than what her name suggests. Um, Harbour suggests calm water, but uh, the original design concept was that these vessels would be an offshore screen to keep submarines out of harbours. So they're designed for long endurance at sea, and uh, not fast, but um, with a full fuel load, this vessel's capable of going right the way across the Atlantic. As it happens, that, that role wasn't needed, and they were used for every role imaginable. Uh, they were very popular for convoy escort, uh, offensive operations in the Mediterranean, and used a great deal in the Far East for landing agents and recovering them, because the vessel is very quiet, and as it happens, nearly radar invisible. Medusa, for her size, is quite heavily armed. Uh, fore and aft, she's got uh, 20 mm Elican. That's a Swiss-designed, uh, heavy-caliber machine gun, and uh, a magazine contains 60 of those. With the trigger held down, it will empty the magazine in six seconds, and uh, that's an explosive shell. It will do quite a lot of damage. Very soon after being built, uh, she was at Slapton Sands for the practice assault of D-Day. Shortly after, as a forerunner for D-Day itself, Medusa set off as navigational leader for Omaha Beach. At Omaha Beach, the Germans had laid a minefield right the way down the centre of the channel, starting at Dover, going almost to Cherbourg. Uh, this could only be cut at the very last moment, otherwise it would be clear where D-Day was going to happen. So it was done the night before D-Day. Medusa's role was to go over the day before D-Day and mark where the entrance to the minefield was going to be. Uh, she acted as a homing beacon and the minesweepers homed on this vessel, went through and did the cut. Uh, Medusa then stayed for 30 hours on location at the very narrow entrance to this minefield cleared channel and acted as a marker for the invasion fleet to come in. Being that marker meant that Medusa had to be in a very precise position at a precise time and then remain there. Navigation mainly in those days was quite basic, um, done just looking at distance run. Uh, but for D-Day there was some quite complex uh, electronic equipment and Medusa had the first of that. Uh, in fact she was so bung full of secret equipment uh, the instruction was she must not be captured. And Medusa was the first vessel to use a, a new system which went on into the 1980s called Decca Navigator. And uh, that was developed in Canada, um, tested in the UK and then used operationally for the first time on D-Day. And uh, uh, here we have part of that equipment. There were only 20 of them built for D-Day. Uh, the 20 most important ships out of 6,000 on D-Day had these. Medusa had one and that's number 19 out of the original production of 20. Essentially if she was off station the invasion fleet for Omaha Beach would have sailed into a minefield. HMS Medusa is preserved for future generations by the Medusa Trust and continues to make trips out to sea. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent.